Today, we've got an update in our fight against coronavirus, both here at home and around the world. And I'll start by talking about events around the world. We've all seen the harrowing pictures of what's happening in India. And I think it pains each one of us uh, who's, who's seeing those scenes, not least because the bonds between our countries are so strong and they're ties of family and of friendship. I've been in constant contact with my Indian counterpart and we worked over the weekend to put together our first package of support of ventilators and oxygen concentrators. More supplies will be arriving later this week. I've also been working with the Health Minister for Northern Ireland, Robin Swan, to donate large-scale oxygen production equipment from Northern Ireland capable of producing over a thousand litres of oxygen per minute, which is one of the main needs of the people of India. And I'd like to thank Robin for the incredible hard work he's done in getting this to the position it is so that we can get it sent to India where it can produce that oxygen that's so badly needed. Everyone across this whole United Kingdom stands side by side with the people of India in these troubled times. Because in this battle against coronavirus, we're all on the same side. This fight is a global fight. And when other nations face their hour of need, as we faced our hour of need here at home, we'll be there. The situation in India is a stark reminder that this isn't over yet. It shows how important it is that we are vigilant here at home. And Professor Van Tam will take us through the data uh, in a moment, but just before we do, I want to give an update on the vaccination program. This morning, we published new data giving the first concrete evidence of how much vaccines reduce transmission within households. We've seen already that a vaccine reduces your chances of catching COVID by around two thirds. This new data looked at people who tested positive after having received one dose of the vaccine and found that they were up to 50% less likely to pass on the disease to someone else in their household. And we're looking at whether the second dose gives an even bigger effect. We know that indoor settings have the highest risk of transmission. So these results are really encouraging in terms of the impact of the vaccine on reducing transmission. We're finding out more and more about the different layers of protection that you get from a vaccine and how it's impacting in the real world. In summary, we think that you get around two thirds protection from against catching the disease at all, around four fifths reduction in your likelihood of ending up in hospital and around 85 percent protection from dying of COVID. That's the protection you get from one dose. And in addition to all that, you're up to half as likely to pass it on to somebody else that you live with. We expect the benefits to be even greater after two doses and we're monitoring that carefully. But what this means is the evidence is stacking up that the vaccine protects you, it protects your loved ones, and it is the way out of this pandemic. The overall ev effectiveness of the vaccination program comes from just two things. One, how effective the vaccine is. That's the science, if you like. And two, how many people get the jabs. And that, of course, is on all of us. And I'm delighted that we've been able to offer the vaccine now to even more people. So anyone who is 42 or older can now come forward and get the jab. I'm delighted about this uh, because it shows the great progress that we're making. And I'm also delighted because it means I can get my jab too. Just like every other 42-year-old and 43-year-old, I got a text from the NHS yesterday. I went online, I booked it for myself. It takes less than a minute, and I'm looking forward to getting my jab first thing tomorrow morning. In the words of our new campaign, every vaccination brings us hope. 
So we've looked at the effectiveness of the vaccine and we've looked at the take-up of the vaccine. Now I want to turn to the combination of the two. What I'm about to show you is not how many people have had the jab, but how many people have got the antibodies that, the, that make the jab effective, these antibodies that protect you from coronavirus. This isn't a measure of the vaccination program directly. This is a measure of the protection that we have collectively built up in people right across the country. So more and more people are getting protection. And now 7 in 10 adults have protective COVID antibodies. This is the vaccination program in action. And it makes me so proud of what we've done. We have been working on the vaccine program for more than a year now. There's a massive team to it. And I'm very, very grateful to them all. But the thing that makes me proudest is how, when the call came, the whole nation who's been asked has effectively stepped forward. Because this vaccination program depends, yes, on the effectiveness of the science, and that is crucial, but it depends on everybody stepping forward. The vaccine is helping us to bring back our freedom. And we must protect this progress. The biggest risk to that progress is the risk posed by a new variant. So we're working on our plans for booster shots too, and this is the final thing I want to talk about. To keep us safe and free here, while we get this disease under control across the whole world, we have been working on a program of booster shots, again, for over a year now. And we've backed some of the only clinical trials in the world looking specifically at booster shots. I'm delighted to be able to tell you that we've secured a further 60 million doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine that will be used alongside others as part of our booster shot program later this year. And that is all about protecting the progress that we've made. We have a clear route out of this crisis, but this is no time for complacency. It's a time for caution. So we can keep the virus under control while we take the steps safely back to normal life. So please remember the, the basics of hands, face, space and fresh air. And crucially, if, like me, you get the call, join me and get the jab.